kind of even it out because you don't want them all on top of even each other. Out. What we're going to do is just to make it golden brown, just yeah. give it a little extra flavor. You're going to pour half a stick of melted butter. Melted butter. She's not putting you out there. OK. That's and mother and daughter working together okay, in the yeah, kitchen, yeah. right? And why the uh, aluminum foil? Aluminum foil, we're going to take this aluminum foil, fold it over. It's like an oven in an oven. Because we're going to cook this about 45 minutes. But let's say about halfway of that, we're going to take this foil and open it up. And that's going to allow the heat to get in there and give it that extra brown. Now, we're going to put this in the oven. All right. So after about 20 minutes, we'll open the foil and let the turkey roast to a golden brown. You know what time it is? It's fried corn time. Fried corn. The first thing we're gonna do is fry up some of this fat back. Oh, let's pull back. Have let's pull back with the fat back. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, you know, being from Brooklyn, New York, I've never ever used fat back. So tell me about fat back. Fat back is just something that we fry up to get the oil from the meat. Mm -hmm. And normally okay. I don't eat pork, right. but there is really, to me, no substitute for fat back when you're making fried, fried corn, corn southern style. Southern style. Southern so, style. So if I was making fried corn Brooklyn, New York style. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I, you wouldn't use fat back. I would probably use like olive oil. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it, maybe. it wouldn't be as good, bottom line. So you need fat back. Cool. Take so, that up north with so you. So I'm interested in, in the fat back. The first thing we're going to do. Chiquetta. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the fat back in the electric skillet. Let's see, this is about 12 slices. And we're going to fry that. When do we actually know to add the corn to the uh, fat back? When the fat back is golden brown. Gotcha. OK, so now what do I do, Mom? We are going to chuck this corn. We're going to remove the husk from the corn. So I take this off. I break this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, girl, you're strong. <laughs> what, are you working out? <laughs> Have you done this before? You know what? I did this many, many years ago when I was about seven or eight years old at my grandma's house. Uh -huh. My family would get together and the kids would uh, shuck the corn on the porch. So I did this pretty good. But see, that was all I would do. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. OK, the very next step, we're going to need that bowl. OK. Mm -hmm. It's like an army of corn right yes. now. Look at this. I think I remember this. OK. And then I take this like this. Where's your knife? And you're going to cut it thin. 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 And do it real thin. Because after you do that, we're going to scrape the juices from it. Let me show you something. Okay. You can take it and do it from the side a little bit. You can control it a little better. See those oh. real thin? Just oh. barely taking it off. OK. So just kind of like the tip. Mm -hmm. OK, then I'm going to show you a little secret. OK, then you can hold it up like this and just scrape. Oh. Scrape like so. OK, you notice I'm just doing like midways mm -hmm. all the way around? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take it and finish it at the bottom. Because you want to keep your juices high as splatter, you want to keep it inside the bowl. Now you do that, okay? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, Chiquetta, mm -hmm. come to the top and scrape it about halfway down. Take your time, turn it. Joe, help us out a little bit. So much to do. Ooh. All right, let me learn from the expert. Ooh, he keeps squirting me. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Can we use kernel corn from a can? No, the art of this is fresh corn. Ooh. Linda, this is a lot of work. Seriously? I mean, I know it's fresh corn, and fresh corn's gonna give better flavor, mm -hmm. but... It's gonna be worth the wait. And you're gonna be so proud of yourself, you're gonna say, I did that. I did fresh corn. Put your corn in my corn. Ooh, <laughs> I don't even know you that well. <laughs> All right, so Linda, what do we do with this corn? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Just take a pinch of salt. Salt and pepper to taste. Okay. Pass that to Joe. Let's do four One pinches. Hit. Now, we are going to take this, stir that up, Jaquetta. Stir it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what happens next, Mom? Okay, we are going to remove the fat back from the remove skillet. Remove the fat back. Are we going to do anything with this fat? We're just going to throw it away. It's just for flavor, right? Just the fat back? for flavor. So I'll take the corn for about 20 minutes okay. or until it becomes creamy. And we have it set on 375 right now. We're going to stir that in. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, you know what we made, Joe? Why? Smoked turkey wings and fried corn seasoned with fat back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, All Mom. Right. All right. All right. Thanks, Mom. You know, I love you. The wings are ready to come out of the oven. The brownies have cooled, 
And while the corn is still hot, we're inviting over Jaquetta's inner circle, her cousin Carrie and her good friend, Marima. You can't go Nice, nice job today. Good job today, ladies. Let's go, girl. I got the wings. Wow, Jaquetta, that looks great. You get great. the first Thank wing. Thank you. Now I know why you go with the turkey wings. They're bigger That's than right. chicken wings. <laughs> Kari, can you pass the corn? Sure, definitely. Wow. Ooh. I like everybody's ooh and not on ooh. over my corn. Ooh. I think that was the toughest thing to make. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The work was definitely worth it. I'm so very proud of you. Corn is good. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna taste good. The corn. My cooking skills before C minus C plus. My cooking skills today A plus. Mm. So Jaquetta. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to cook with your mom in the kitchen? She's an excellent teacher. And I think I'm an excellent cook. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the good part about that is that now I could come and not worry about cooking a home-cooked Southern meal because Jaquetta could do it now. My mother sharing this experience with me has meant the world to me. And to look over at her and know that I'm here, she's here, I'm healthy, and I'm cooking, and she will actually eat it and enjoy it. Oh, that just does my heart. Expecting you to cook again on Sunday, right? Oh. After church? <laughs> <laughs> Brownies. I got one. Okay. Having everyone gathered here, it's just all about bonding. It's about sharing and laughing. Food just happens to be there. Now, don't get me wrong, now, we enjoy food. <laughs> we enjoy it. But basically, it's just about love. Linda, Jaquetta, I had a beautiful day. We had a lot of fun. It was great to meet you. Cheers. Here's to mom's cooking. Cheers. 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 To get the recipes for today's dishes, go to mylifetime.com. I'll see you next time on Mom's Cooking. <laughs>